Alright guys, let's do... Thirteen horrible accidents. Horrible, sorry. That happen in life. Now, it's 41 minutes. Screw that. Why did they have to put Michael Jackson in there? Top 10 dark glass photos of celebrities. The pictures you are about to see today are truly sad. It captures celebrities' final moments. Whether it be Amelia Earhart packing up her bags for a journey which she would never return. Or from John Lennon photograph of the man who later murdered him. We're covering it all in today's video, so let's just get right on into it. Starting off this countdown, we have Paul Walker. On November 30th, 2013, Paul Walker that. attended a charity event for Reach Out Worldwide. He was last captured driving off in a red Porsche Carrera GT. Little did he know that later that day, the car would crash into a concrete lamppost and two trees before bursting into flames, killing Walker and the driver instantly. It's so sad looking at this photo. Like, Paul seemed happy. He got into the car not knowing his fate. In fact, what makes this scarier is that he might have still been alive had it not been for one text. He woke up that morning completely forgetting about the charity event that he had to go to. That was until someone texted him to remind him. Had he not gone to the event and just stayed home, things would have been different. Coming in at number nine, we have Robin Williams, one of the greatest actors and comedic minds My favorite actor. In Hollywood. There was movie after movie that this guy made that influenced people from my generation and so many generations after. And right before we get further into this point, guys, remember that you can like, comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and stick around to the end of the list because we're going to be answering some comments. Go, not watching from him. our previous video, <laughs> Top 10 Disney Mysteries. I mean, we can go down the list. This guy was in Aladdin, Jumanji, Mrs. Doubtfire. All of those movies were certified bangers. And this was the last picture of him before he passed. He looks so happy. He's chilling out with his monkey, Crystal, and the two of them are just being the best of friends. But even having one of the coolest pets of all time wasn't enough to keep him happy. Unfortunately, shortly after this picture was taken, Robin Williams would visit the doctor and get a very sad diagnosis. It would seem that he had Parkinson's. It was devastating news that would lead to him taking his own life. Apparently, he was misdiagnosed, and he actually had a specific type of dementia, which leads to paranoia. In our eighth spot, we have Amelia mm. Earhart. The fate of Amelia Earhart is still unknown. Did she die in a plane crash? Did she get stranded on a deserted island? We honestly don't know. In 1937, Amelia set out with her navigator, Fred Noonan, to fly around the world. One of the last photos of Amelia Amelia was her packing her suitcase for travels, which she would never return from. Much like these other celebrities, she looked so happy, just excited to go on this adventure. But little did she know it would end in tragedy. Amelia and Fred were last heard from on July 2nd, 1937. The government spent 15 years in them. In fact, searching for Earhart was the largest and most expensive search in American history. Sadly, hardly anything came of this. They thought that maybe the plane crashed somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, but who really knows? Coming in at number seven, we have Gene Wilder. It's impressive how Gene Wilder was able to be both hilarious and terrifying in many of his performances. Like, throughout most of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, he's kind of scary, but then when you check out Blazing Saddles, he's one of the funniest dudes around. This was the last picture taken of him, or at least the last one that was shared to the public. He lived well into his 80s, and in this picture, you can see him with his daughter walking in Los Angeles. It was in 2013 when one of the most famous actors in the world learned that he was battling Alzheimer's. This is obviously a very strenuous disease, and it can slowly wither a person away. It's a tough battle because of this. Gene wanted to stay out of the public eye. So after he was told by doctors that he was fighting Alzheimer's, he decided that he would stay out of the public eye. 
Okay, guys, I'm sorry. <clears throat> no. Appearing, I am fans and become a homebody. And I mean, it sounds like a song. Come on, handsome. solid chance that those electric cars wouldn't be running right now if it wasn't for the inventions that this man made. This was the last known picture of the inventor. He looks like he was ill, but he was actually mostly thin because he had changed his diet to eating very light. He wouldn't eat meat, and he mostly lived off bread, honey, and vegetable juices. Probably the saddest part about the end of Tesla's life is that he basically had no money, although he did find pleasure in pigeons. For some reason, the inventor had an obsession with pigeons. He would go to the park and feed them, and even said that they gave him some of the ideas for his inventions. That's the secret. We've got to start hanging out with more pigeons. In our fourth spot, we have James Dean. On September 30th, 1955, James Dean died in a car accident at only 24 years old. It's said that he was driving fast and suddenly had to swerve out of the way to avoid an oncoming car, but ended up hitting it almost head on. It's said that Dean died instantly, but his passenger survived with injuries. That day, Dean was photographed posing with the very car he later died in. In fact, that car is said to be cursed. He only owned it for nine days before his death. Later, after he died, the car rolled off the back of a truck and crushed the legs of a mechanic. Then the car's mm. parts were dissembled and installed into other cars around the world. All those car owners also got into deadly crashes. So Dean's last picture was literally with a cursed car that killed him. Coming in at number three, we have Aaliyah. Aaliyah was a rising star in the R&B community. Beautiful, and Aaliyah. And she was be the next star in the music industry. Literally everyone who was into music was talking about her. Before she was 22 years old, she had already won 14 awards and been nominated for 73 awards through different music organizations. There's a good portion of us who don't even have our driver's license at 22, but her death would shock the world. Either one of those two pictures is thought to be the last of Aaliyah. They didn't have time stamps on every last picture back then, so we don't know exactly which one it is. But Aaliyah would board a plane that was headed to the Bahamas. It should have been a nice short trip, but the plane crashed. Out of nowhere, the next big thing in music was gone. In our second spot, we have John Lennon. On December 8th, 1980, John Lennon was assassinated outside of his Manhattan apartment. Earlier that day, Lennon was photographed signing autographs for fans. The last photo of him was him signing an autograph for the man who would later murder him. It's so eerie. The photo literally foreshadows his fate. He was literally pictured with his killer. Later that night, the man in the photo, David Chapman, returned to Lennon's apartment and waited outside for him. When he came down, Chapman shot him four times in the back. It's just way too freaky for me. And coming into the number one spot, we have Marilyn Monroe. I mean, what did Marilyn Monroe do? It's thought that she changed how women could represent themselves in the public eye. She was one of the biggest beauty icons of all time. And it's that's who that my brother likes. I don't have the answer. She's pretty, but... This was the last known picture. I am not Marilyn Monroe fan. Buddy Greco was a famous jazz musician of the time. 
man, jazz has changed a lot. It used to be the coolest thing in town. There's no way you could be playing jazz now and it would get you into the arms of Scarlett Johansson. On the record, her death was deemed a suicide, but off the record, it seemed that the CIA might have taken her out. She knew too many secrets from being close to the president. They couldn't let those secrets leak out. All right, and that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. We will be. That's it. Okay, uh, let me see. Hey guys, I'll see you then.